Be sure to download the Valley News Live News app. You'll get breaking news alerts, school closings, the latest weather and headlines, all for free. Just search VNL in the App Store or Google Play Marketplace. President Donald Trump hosted a celebration for members of the U.S. Olympic teams at the White House this morning. The president welcomed more than 200 athletes who participated in the Olympics and the Paralympics, including Grand Forks natives Monique and Jocelyn Lamoureux and War Road's Minnesota, uh, War Road, Minnesota's Gigi Marvin of the gold medal winning women's hockey team. Members of the squad gathered on the White House grounds for an Olympic reunion. President Trump thanked the athletes for their efforts and called them all winners. He thanked them for their contributions in easing relations between North and South Korea and referred to the meeting between the leaders of those nations. Some notable Olympic stars were not present at the White House event, some for political reasons, others for uh, prior commitments. The U.S. Olympic teams presented Donald Trump with autographed flags. Heads up for Minnesota Viking fans hoping to catch the team during training camp this summer. The Vikes will set a daily attendance capacity for their first training camp at the team's new suburban headquarters. Approximately 5,000 fans per day will be able to attend practices at the TCO Performance Center in Egan, where the organization moved last month. Space is more limited than at Minnesota State University in Mankato, where the Vikings traveled for 52 years through last summer. Now, admission's still going to be free, but tickets must be reserved in advance. Season ticket holders will have priority. More details will be publicized in June. Rookies will report to camp on Tuesday, July 24th, with their first practice the next day. Veterans arrive on Friday of that week, with the first full team workout the following day. Fargo Force on a mission to get to the finals. That's right, they certainly are, and it all starts tomorrow. We got the chance to catch up with head coach Carrie Eads after their big win to advance. We'll hear from him next.